there were some bills that I saw coming down the pipeline last session that had me very concerned. I plan to go to the Senate chambers and the House chambers and let my voice be heard. I saw other parents, other people getting involved with politics, and I saw that they were just like me. By the people, for the government. And somewhere along the way, that all got switched around, and I started to take notice. And what the switch was is that I started noticing that it became for the people by the government. So I feel that our legislators, somewhere along the line, got that confused, that they weren't doing their studies properly, and didn't know how important the Constitution was. I oppose any kind of mandates or removal of exemptions around vaccines. I oppose any kind of government tracking regarding our medical choices and decisions. I oppose anything that is invasive into my family's life. Parents' rights to be able to choose where their kids go to school, how their kids are educated, what curriculum is being taught, that belongs to the parents. Some issues that are being pushed that could be a problem for my family, there's, there's so many. It feels at times like a runaway freight train. Government is trying to take away a lot of our freedoms, um, hand over a lot of the parenting responsibilities to the state, and I, I don't believe in that. I need to stand up for that before um, more laws are passed, like have been in California and New York, that are discriminating against groups of people. I stand for Colorado. 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 Join us at the Stand for Colorado rally on January 8th, 11 a.m. on the west steps of the Capitol.